What's going on guys? Tactical Bacon here and welcome to another episode of DayZ Vanilla Mod. So if you guys are wondering what exactly happened after the restart, uh, pretty much nothing. Um, I ran around Berezino, looted it for a bit, uh, ended up coming up to these uh, train cars, I guess you would call them, and didn't really find too much of anything. And I don't know, like the rest of that day was just pretty uneventful. So um, anyways, I didn't end up making my way up to Northeast Airfield and... Unfortunately, I ended up kind of dying. Um, drinks are a little bit more difficult to come by, as you guys have probably heard me state throughout this uh, this entire season, I guess you could call it. But uh, yeah, the drinks are very hard to come by. I'm trying to find a water bottle currently right now. Um, but yeah, I did manage to get up to Northeast Airfield, like I was saying before, and... Tried to loot around there. I was really hoping that I would find some kind of like, you know, like an assault rifle or something, something like a high powered rifle or something like that. Uh, unfortunately, all I found was an M9. And I mean, I found a few other things too, but I mean, it wasn't really anything spectacular. I think I'm going to find all my good loot probably at Northwest Airfield. So yeah, I don't know. But, um,. Pretty much, like I said, I died of uh, dehydration, and that is why I'm now walking around, or crouch walking around, rather, in Cherno. Um, one of the great things about the US 434 servers, and I'm sure that another, uh, or a number of other uh, vanilla mod servers have this, is they do have a spawn select menu, which I guess in a way doesn't take away too much from the entire experience but uh yeah it does have a spawn option or a spawn menu option and holy shit there are a lot of fucking zombies chasing me right now but yeah you can uh you can definitely choose where to spawn i think it's like uh cherno electro uh belota berezino solnechny and maybe somewhere else i'm not exactly sure of all the different places you can spawn but, uh, yeah, like I said, I spawned in Cherno. I'm going to go around to a couple different places and hopefully find some pretty decent loot before I make my way up to Northwest Airfield. Alright, so... Still have a lot of zombies around me. I'm not digging that. There's a pile of wood in there. I don't see how that's going to help me. Maybe I can chuck the pieces of wood. Ooh! Stroganov. But yeah, maybe I can chuck the pieces of wood at the zombies and maybe they'll just gnaw on that and completely leave me alone. So I'll go ahead and pick up the wood pile in hopes that I might be able to do something like that. I doubt that I will be able to. Um, I think it would be pretty cool if you could take the uh, road flares, maybe set the zombies on fire with those. Maybe that's something that Daisy Standalone can work on. Amongst all the other issues that Daisy Standalone has right now, but we we won't get into that discussion Here I'm actually thinking about making a video about that kind of a, a can of The fuck Was that a legit cow or was that like a player with a soundboard? Hmm Let's see. Oh, okay. So there's a cow right there. Okay. See, I didn't know. Like, like I said, I didn't know if it was a an actual cow or a player running around with a soundboard of just weird farm animals. That would have been cool. I would have loved to have talked to somebody like that. But now I have a box of matches, which I can just light the wood pile on fire with if I happen to start dying of he uh, dehydration. Oh, nice. Alice pack. I can definitely store... Ooh, trail mix. I can, I can definitely store at least one gun and a few other items in this backpack, though. So that's, that's going to be good if I come across a couple different guns. But yeah, like I was saying, I mean, I can just... If I start dying of dehydration again, I could just light the wood pile on fire and burn myself to death, I guess. Hopefully it doesn't come down to that. 
I'm gonna go into the church and see if there's any good loot in there. Sometimes, uh, cans of food and... Holy shit. Kids, take it from me. Do not try to go through the bush like that. Um, but yeah. Uh, hopefully there's gonna be a few decent things in here as that zombie decides to bitch slap me. Hmm. Nothing in here. Empty snack bag. Alright, so if anybody watching this video right now happens to know if there might be any use of the empty snack bag, let me know because that would be interesting. Like, like that empty can back there, for instance, like, I know that you can melt that down and stuff like that, or at least in Epoch you can melt it, melt it down. I'm sure in this mod you can too, but you probably use it for something else, I'm not exactly sure. Um, I'm still trying to brush up on a lot of the crafting stuff. Uh, okay, that's a different sound than I'm used to. But yeah, I'm still trying to brush up on a lot of the crafting stuff for the uh, vanilla mod, so... Bear with me, I know a lot of you guys end up posting comments down in the comment section like, God, why won't you just do this? And trust me, I mean, I... Ooh. The revolver. But yeah, um, like I was saying, just... You know, bear with me, cause I'm I'm still I'm still learning. So, but uh, yeah, bunch of empty cans and snack bags, a book for dummies, do-it-yourself manual for gates. Don't exactly know why I would want that. Actually, maybe you can right-click it and uh, let's see. Oh yeah. Alright, so I guess you right-click it and you learn how to make a wooden gate, or that allows you to make a wooden gate, I guess, if you have the correct items. Not exactly sure. Come up here. Oh. This is like finding the holy grail in the game right here. A fucking can of soda. Played so much Epoch and Overpoch that... Things like a can of soda and a Winchester, to me, have just become, you know, just so easy to come by in those mods. It would be nice to find a water bottle, though, I have to admit. More empty cans and shit. Although I have found a revolver and a Winchester. Which one is this? Oh, more gates, okay. I did find a revolver and a Winchester in the pub, though. There was revolver ammo, but... Okay, so you can't right-click that for anything. Yeah, but yeah, there was revolver ammo, but unfortunately there's no ammo that I've seen, at least, in this building for the Winchester. So we're probably gonna have to find that elsewhere. But, uh, yeah. So I guess the church was a bust. Uh, a few good things in the pub. Maybe there's gonna be some good stuff up here in this industrial area. I don't know But I mean, I guess it's worth checking out because I mean you never know what you're gonna come across and Okay, there's a firehouse right here. I guess I can go ahead and check that But yeah, like I said, you know, you never know what you're gonna come across especially in the vanilla mod where survival is a lot more or Sur surviving the elements, I guess you would say, is a lot more key than just, like, running around. Ooh. I thought I would've just broken my, both of my legs right there. Oh, nice! Yeah, see, this is what I was talking about earlier, where I can hold the AKM in my backpack and still have, I don't know, seven, maybe six to eight slots left? I don't know. Yeah, there's nothing else in here. Shit, I was going off on a tangent about something, but then I fucking completely blanked out. But, um... I mean, you know, we got some pretty decent gear so far, so... I don't know, I mean, I still have one other drink in my inventory, if I remember seeing that correctly. But, uh, yeah, we're just gonna keep going this way and hopefully come across a few other drinks. Still looking for that water bottle. Not exactly sure the best place to look for that. Um, I don't know. I might have to look online the best place to find like a water bottle or some shit. Not exactly sure. 
All right, so I got a Congo line of zombies following me. I did manage to find a pump action shotgun, which I do have a few shells for. And I'm just trying to run around and go through a few other places before I end up leaving Cherno. Um, I'm going to start making my way up to the Northwest Airfield, hopefully find some good loot along the way. And there's nothing good in here. Oh, shit. God, I hate when the zombies knock you down like that. I'm trying to lure as many of them as I can into this building so they'll stop chasing after me. Alright, I don't think it's worth staying around here anymore. I think I'm just going to have to head right out. I mean, I probably do have time to check some of these apartment buildings, but obviously I don't want to do that because I don't want to attract too many more zombies. But yeah, like I was saying, I am going to start heading up towards Northwest Airfield. Uh, obviously, I'll be stopping through a few towns like Zelenogors, probably go up to Green Mountain as well. Uh, not exactly... I don't exactly have a list of all the places that I'm going to go to. Oh yeah, I'm definitely going to hit Starry on the way up there too. But, um, yeah, uh, unfortunately I wasn't able to find enough gear, so I will have to stop a few different places.